had two songs that were pertaining to African-American families and children. That was Retrospect for Life by Lauren Hill and Common and Faithful by Common. We have one more question for our African-American men's panel, and that is, 72% of babies born African-American in the U.S. belong to an unwed mother. What is happening to African-American fathers, and what can we do in our communities to change this? Yes, I think one of the challenges is here uh, is to also begin to sort of challenge, and challenge the statistics. What we see with the 72% uh, figure is that it's giving a, a statistic based on uh, what occurs at the point of delivery versus the point of conception. And so what we can see, so if a woman mother is uh, divorced, if there's been some uh, the woman's widowed, whatever, it will be counted as an unwed mother because there's no father there at the time of delivery of the baby. So that's when the statistics, how the statistics are constructed. So we have to be very careful with the 72% number. Also, I think what's problematic about it is that it tends to demonize uh, both African-American men and women. And so, uh, and we tend to sort of buy into this notion that African-American women cannot raise sons, but we know that men are closer to their mothers than they are to their fathers. And so our women have played a very important role uh, in raising sons and instilling in them the values that they need. And so I think what we need to do is to work to sort of build uh, stronger uh, units, but be sure not to demonize black women who are doing some courageous and important work in terms of raising our young men. Yes, back to what he was saying about, uh, you know, women stepping up, teaching the son. Of course, uh, Every, every child, especially a boy, he should have a father to teach him. I, I look at it like you have your mother so much, but what you gonna do when you have to do this or that? As a, as a, as a young man who has a father, they, they always give you that extra push because when you get into this world, you know, women, they, they have it hard, but as a black man, it's, it's that much harder because they're pushing down really hard on looking at the color of my skin or what I have on my arms. I might have a tattoo or something, and they might look at that and, and just take away everything. Whereas if somebody else of another race might have the exact same thing, he's going to get over on me because of his skin color isn't as dark as mine. But um, of course, you know, it's always important to have a father figure in your life. All right, well, we are so thankful for our African American men's panel coming here today, and they discuss some good topics relevant to stereotypical depictions of black manhood and is hip hop destroying African American men. We have come to the conclusion through the hip hop tracks we played today that were non destructive, that hip hop is not destroying African American men, and through what these men have taught us about black manhood, we know that all media depictions and statistics are not true. We're going to give them a chance to say their goodbyes to Dice Entertainment, and we'll see you all next week. Uh, hey, this is Michael Keith. I just want to say thank you for having me on the show. And if I could give any advice to African American men striving to find an, an identity in the society, uh, my first advice is do not look to social media. Do not look on TV. Do not look on the radio. And uh, I'm about to go into detail on that. What I'm saying is find somebody in your community, hopefully your community has a positive influence somewhere, whether it be in a church, whether it be your friend who has a father who's in his household, or whether it be a worker that you know, or a family member or an uncle, find somebody with a positive contribution. Not necessarily selling drugs, not doing this or that. Find somebody who has a hardworking job or something that's morally right and look at them first. And then uh, in detail, then you could go to social media and be able to pick out the men that you feel are doing something positive and could model yourself after. Hello, this is our Dr. Hall. Uh, thank you so much for having me today. And if I had to give you advice, uh, I'd say uh, keep your head up and be sure to embrace the fullness of what it means to be a man, both this engagement with your masculinity and your physicality, but also with uh, these uh, important values of empathy, understanding, kindness, and intellectual awareness. Yeah, this is Devontae Titus. I just want to say thanks for letting me be on the show. And as far as uh, after men, young men, whatever you want to do, do it. Uh, they, they tell you what you can and can't do, but it's all about what you want to do. If you really want something, go and get it. And always keep your head up and stay strong. All right, great advice for my African American Smith panel. Now, life's a gamble, but you'll always win when you shake them up with DJ Head Nine on Dice Entertainment. Y'all have a blessed weekend. Be safe.